Okay, so today we're going to take a look at projecting a sketch onto a curved surface. Creating sketches on curved surface in SolidWorks, this is how you'll do it. You'll use the projected curve command to create the geometry you need. So this is right here in the curves toolbar or the curves dropdown on the features toolbar. And we're going to use it in two different ways today on the shoe model to create an opening for the upper body of the shoe here and then some uh, lace holes. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this sketch that I already have pre-drawn here on the top plane. So you can see here that it's an open-ended sketch. doesn't need to be closed sketch geometry to use this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just pre-select this sketch here in the feature manager. Tongue opening, I've named it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into that project curve command. Okay, And this is effectively sketching on a curved surface. So I've got my tongue opening sketch pre-selected here. And we're going to use the sketch on faces option. And now i got to do is select the face. So this is a uh, surface body. I'm just going to go ahead and select on that right now. And you can see I've got a good preview. I can change the direction of the projection if I need to. And a few different options here that are pretty self-explanatory. I like this, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK to accept it. And now you can see the blue geometry there is my curve geometry. So this is what I'm going to use to go ahead and cut the surface to get the shape I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and again pre-select the curve here that is now existing in my feature manager and just jump right into the surfaces toolbar and use a trim surface command to get rid of the material that I do not like. So I'm going to use remove selections. I've got the trim tool already pre-selected there. I'm just going to select the surface to remove. And I'm going to use the right mouse button to go ahead and OK. All right. All right. You can see it's cut away my surface. All right, I'm getting where I want to be. So the next thing I want to do is make this surface actual solid geometry. So real quick, I'm in surfaces. I'm just going to go to thicken. I'll select it. And we want to thicken by, I think, just a millimeter in this case. And I want to thicken that inward. We'll click OK. And see there, I did a merge entities, which I didn't want to do in this case. So uh, I'm actually going to just control Z to undo and we'll go ahead and redo that thicken. Make sure merge result is unchecked. And that's the body I want to thicken. There we go. And to get my color back, I'm just going to drop it into my uh, appearances tree here and just drag the existing color onto the new body. All right. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and apply a quick fillet to these corners. So I'm just going to jump into the fillet command and select these edges. Again, using right click to OK there. All right. So now I can go ahead and hide my curve, I think, in the feature manager because I don't really need to use that uh, further down the road. So I'm just going to select here and do hide. So it kind of cleans up my view a little bit. All right. So the next thing I want to do is make some lace holes here for our shoe. I'm going to go ahead and use another new sketch. So I'll start a new sketch on the top plane. And I'm just going to select this one leg of the existing sketch here to offset. So by selecting offset entities, I'm going to offset that by seven millimeters. And I like that preview, so I'll click OK. And there you can see the sketch is offset and fully defined. Now I'm going to use this sketch to project another curve. So again, we'll go into project curve. With the sketch pre-selected, all I need to do is select the surface to project onto, and we can see the preview clearly. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to use this sketch to drive a hole and uh, a pattern to get the lace openings we're looking for. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and go into our uh, curve here and hide the tongue opening sketch just to clean things up a little bit since we don't need it any longer. And then I'll go ahead and jump into Features and the Hole Wizard. So I'm going to just use a simple dowel hole for this one in metric dimensions. And I think we're going to go ahead and stick with a size of 4 here. And I've got that in condition blind to uh, 1.5 millimeters just to make sure it clears the thickness of the leather upper. So I'll go ahead and go to the Positions tab. 
and click on the surface once to start. And then you can see as I move around the surface here that the cool thing about the hole wizard is that it will apply the hole normal to the surface. So it's a great tool to use on curved surfaces. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the hole randomly and then hit escape so I don't need to apply any more instances. And then control select my curve geometry and apply a manual coincident relationship just to make sure that that gets done correctly. I'll go ahead and click OK. And sometimes you might see an error right here. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really uh, affect the outcome. We still get the hole we're looking for. And uh, that's just an aberration in SolidWorks right now. I'm not sure why it happens, but it doesn't really affect what we're looking for. So we'll just go on forward. All right, next thing to do is go ahead and pattern this hole that we just created along this curve. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, make sure that my hole is pre-selected. I like pre-select geometry, it makes things a little bit easier. And then do curve driven pattern and select the curve there for uh, the edge for the direction definition. I think we gotta go ahead and reverse that. We can see our preview up here. I wanna put these, I think we're gonna do 13 and a half millimeters spacing, but I do wanna stick with the five instance count. So we'll just click OK to accept that. And it looks exactly how we wanted. We'll go ahead and now hide our curve to clean things up a little bit. And we can see that we're almost finished here. We just need to mirror these holes to the other side of the shoe to finish this portion of the model. So again, we'll go ahead and select the hole and the pattern of the hole. Control select those down in the feature manager. And in this case, we'll do mirror we'll choose to mirror about the right plane in this instance. And everything preview is good, so let's go ahead and click OK. And there you have it. We got the shoe upper minus the tongue here that we'll uh, finish in another lesson. So just two examples of how you can use the project curve command to essentially create sketches on curved surfaces in SolidWorks. So hopefully you've learned a little bit today and you can use this in your future models.